Did that work? Hey, there's my mic in the stream mix, look at that. Okay, 
Uh, it's gonna be my raw mic input though. Okay, now you guys should be able to hear me, right? And it should be a little louder than the music, or rather, a lot louder than the music. I think, yeah, I got way too smart for this one. Also, man, the ultra low latency on YouTube is amazing. That's just, it's crazy. I can hear you guys so much faster than before, so... Okay, well we can kill the music then, and uh, get our game going. Hopefully the game sound will be okay. Um, here? See? Well, oh uh, yeah, I can't hear you. You can hear me, you can see me. I can't see you or hear you, but I can see your chat, and I think it's coming through a lot faster. Like, I think the ultra low latency is actually super low latency now. Which is really cool, because uh, then it'll be more like we're having a conversation. Not like, I see that message that came through about this thing in the game, but it was probably a full minute ago, and now I can't do anything about it. Uh, to be honest though, that's probably just a lot of me not paying attention to chat. My bad, my bad. It's been a couple of years, guys. I'm still new at this, sort of. Like, if I was in the world of career, I would still be an intern, or still in school or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, anyways. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome to Shadows Over Loathing. Welcome to YouTube. Uh, I mean, you're probably seeing this on YouTube, but like the edited YouTube, but we're live on YouTube. Anyways, I'm, I'm all in on the YouTube thing now, so do we have any extra cheese for this guy? No, we don't. I don't even know what we're doing. I think I needed to go back to the cornfield in Gray County. And it's the Mole Ross house, I believe. Something like that. Look out! A rolling bull. Did they... This title looks bigger than before. I feel like... I feel like this title's bigger than before. Also, I feel like my system sound is really low for the game, but I guess we'll figure it out. Um, look out, a rolling boulder of sticky crude oil is coming down the hill at a terrifyingly slow speed if you don't get out of the way in the next three to four hours. Your truck food... Walk slowly away. Uh, let's just roll it back up the hill. Rolling up your sleeve, you hoist the boulder back up the hill until it's safe and stationary on level ground. The labor puts you in the mind of Sisyphus and how much better you are than him at this sort of thing. Oh, uh, at least our rock stayed at the top of the hill. Okay, yeah, it was this. No, it wasn't this. It must have been the Gilmore house. What are all these new? An elderly woman rocking on her front porch asks if you wouldn't mind collecting something fro for her from the pharmacy. Her bull has gotten loose in there and has become addicted to prescription amphetamines. A meth bull. Brilliant. When you arrive at the pharmacy, the bull is asleep. It crashed hard. Yeah, you carry him home on your shoulder and tuck him into bed. No wonder it took 10 muscle. It's not this house either. Maybe it's the Drexel house? Okay, even you, good king, must nap from time to time. A burned out truck cab. We've done this before. Yeah, we've done that one before. Okay, it is this one with the cornfield, with the guy, right? Um, I was told in a comment, not to go here, I was told in a comment to go look in the back of the wardrobe after talking to the dairy guy. Um, sadly, it doesn't contain a portal to a magical world of fantasy. I guess you could cut a hole in the back, then at least it would contain a portal to a magical world of world of corn. What it does contain is an assortment of drab church clothes for a small boy. Nothing in here is your size or denomination. Look for a bow tie. Fine silk bow tie. Now I think we need to go to the milkman who is all the way around and uh, see if we can get cheaper milk, which I know we don't really need it anymore, but I'd like to, yeah. Hello again. Why so glum? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. None of the others will listen to me complain anymore. For starters, it's extremely boring here. And I don't have anything to read except my sign. Uh, change the subject. Also, do you guys hear like a weird, like a, like a latency thing? Like, I'm hearing myself twice instead of just once. And it's really off-putting. Like, I, I, I like to just hear myself once. I'm, I'm a narcissist like anyone else. But, oh, I found a new bow tie for you. Uh, well, hey, thanks. That's a sharp-looking piece of finery. That makes me feel a little better. In fact, I think I'll celebrate by lowering my prices a little. 
Nothing like that here? Okay, well I guess that's good. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't entirely know why things are the way that they are, but whatever. Um, you still don't look all that happy. Well, now that I've got this nice little bow tie, it reminds me of how snappy I used to look before I got my hat all dirty. I see. You seem to be able to move in and out of this nightmare labyrinth freely for some reason. Any chance you'd want to take my hat to be laundered? Sure. Uh, thank you. Here, please don't show this to anyone else. It's very embarrassing to my professional sensibilities. He's very bald. His bow tie is up on his chin. And we have the milkman's dirty secret. The secret is that it's a hat. Look, not every secret has to be some kind of earth-shattering revelation. True. Okay, we'll leave him. Uh, where do we even go to get that laundered? We used to go to SIT campus, underground, um, where we laundered the meat. If you guys remember so we'll go to the lab we have to fight even if we just run away we'll just spam and if we lose we'll get more powerful and if we win then we win I don't know what you guys were expecting there well I'll have to do some more work on my audio to see if I can figure out how the monitoring is messing with my brain it's not the greenhouse it's not the mouse the laundry room there we go Steam powered. Launder the milkman's hat. The milkman's clean hat. The milkman's sins have been washed away, assuming that dandruff is a sin. Imagine the sin of dandruff. Oh, we gotta go back to uh, the Drexel's cornfield. We also need a letter opener. Every time I pass a mailbox, I'm like, we need a letter opener, and then I never do anything about it. Okay, we gotta go to the far side. And then back to the other far side. Oof. Oof. Hello again, I cleaned your hat. Oh wow, practically good as new, thanks. This definitely calls for a celebration. Have some milk. On the house? No, but somewhat less off the house than it was before. He scratches out the prices on his sign and writes in some new ones. Well, that's a lot cheaper. He reduced the prices by... Four and six? Maybe just six. Uh, I don't know. But we don't need any more milk. Let's go talk to the general now. ADHD at its finest. Where was the general? He wasn't up here. He was uh, maybe on this side? No. Oh, he was up... At to the far side, which is actually the other far side, because my cam I don't have my camera reversed, so I need to point the other way. Anyways, gotta go to this far side, and then up, and then to the far side, and then back down to get to the general. So we, we were right there, and I decided, uh, hmm, yes, soldier, how's morale among the troops? Hmm, well, right now I'd rate it at 10 out of 10, and by gum, that's better than I've seen them. I've received field reports that this is your doing, soldier. I think you've earned yourself a promotion. Gosh, the colonel pulls out a pair of fancy military epaulets, epaulets, and hands them to you with a snappy salute. Plus five to magical weapon attacks. Let's go. Return the salute. Um, why don't you just leave? Uh, we've already been through that. So I don't know what else to do with the cornfield now, but I want to see what those did. Oh, our accessory now is stats based. So if we get into a crazy combat situation, I'll go ahead and equip this. But for now, I think the stats are better for the for the out of combat things. I can't figure out how to do the rest of the quests. Um, we're just going to beat these guys up real quick. Throw a saw blade? Who's throwing a saw blade? Gordon Freeman in Half-Life 2? One of Rufus's robots will throw a saw blade. Okay. Oh, I was like, that did 12 bleed damage, and he didn't take any damage. Okay, let's just um, summon, rain down fire, increase ally stats by 15. Holy moly. And then, okay, yeah, that works. Billowy devil pants, nice. I'll take it. I know we haven't finished all the quests, but like... We've done our best to finish all the quests, so let's do this. We'll start the mission. With this level of preparation, it's risky, but I think it's doable. Can you pick up some of the slack? 
I can and I will. I should also point out any unfinished business you've got with the rest of the team is going to remain unfinished if we pull the pin on this now. Uh, whatever they asked you for will become irrelevant real quick. Nothing you want to wrap up first? Oh, it's killing me. It's killing me. Oh, you're loving the new keyboard? Okay, tell us more about it. Is it just a stock keyboard that you love? Or is there more going on? All right. This is killing me. I, I hate leaving quests unfinished and like, ugh, ugh, there's a guard patrolling. All right, Eola, go for it. Go knock him cold. She's winding up with the punch. Hey, kappa. Uh, Eola sashays up to the guard holding a glass of milk. Well, hello, handsome. Couldn't help but notice all the hard work you're doing keeping this place safe from intruders. <laughs> I, uh, well, that's, <laughs> that's my job, yes, ma'am. And you're doing such a good job, too, darling. I was just saying to myself, there's a handsome young man who must be so thirsty after all that walking. I simply must bring him a little pick-me-up. Oh, that's very kind of you. I could use a glass of milk. <laughs> the guard drinks his milk and instantly passes out. Yola shoots you a wink and she strolls back to the car. Go get him, tiger. Nice work, Yola. All right, who's next? Uh, Xenia is ready for action. Let me see what's on. There's nothing on the far side. Wendelin is messing with the gate controls. Wendelin has removed a panel from the front of the control box, revealing a mass of gears and cogs packed with grease. Give me a hand with this, would ya? It's gonna have all the fingers still on it afterwards. Yeah, no worries, kid. This little gizmo I've been tinkering with is gonna do all the heavy lifting. Uh, I just need you to hold the panel open for me. Um, let's get some sleaze armor and moxie going. We have moxie, so we just need sleaze armor, right? And we can do... I don't know how much sleaze armor we have. We probably need by six. Yeah, sure, why not? We lost five and gained six? That better be enough. It's not enough. We need one more. All right, clown pants. Here we go. Where are you? Boom. All right. You roll up your sleeve. Oh, do you guys hear that gwish sound? Uh, it has the best gasket system you've ever typed on. It sounds really good. Made with cherry browns as well. I, yeah, browns, solid. Those are the linear ones, right? Like the standard linear. Blue is kicky. Oh, red is linear. Browns are tactile? I have, um, I have a brown switch, low profile, on my space bar. The rest of them are reds. And they're linear, and I love them. This keyboard is by far my favorite. Uh, you roll up your sleeve and stick in your arm into the nest of sharp steel gears, nearly up to the elbow. When your fingers find the lug Wendelin pointed out, you take two deep breaths, snap the thing to the left, and yank your arm out of there before the gears start spinning like blenders at half-price margarita night. It's all in the wrist. It's a tactile? Okay. Cool. Alright, I like this team mission thing. Wait, what is this? What is this? Perverse, vulgar, crude, unrefined, refined, classy, amazing. All right. Uh, what's what's happening? The bunker door is lost. What's next? Jasper gives you a quizzical look as though he's afraid he accidentally included a child in this heist. We unlock the door, go in the bunker. Right, right. Where's the key? It's in the trailer we just passed. Go help Us Uskaloosa look for it. Right, okay. I'll help Uskaloosa. This is a pretty big safe. Pretty big safe. The keys in there must be real important. Uh, well-made desk, but unremarkable. From the memos and so forth, you gather this is Baron Hellstrom's personal desk. Pretty much all that's in it is business-related papers. Oh, except for a weird leather pouch. We got a weird leather pouch with a weird spiky... Uh, a weird leather pouch with a weird spiky glyph stamped into the flap. Let's see if there's anything in it. The pouch contains a stick of pink chalk, a black candle that smells like french fries, some old dried oregano, that's a guess, and a crumpled receipt. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's a receipt from SIT Library for overdue book finds and lists a book call number. Okay. Well, that, that is a weird pouch with weird contents. We got refinery workers' pants. Nice. Muscle and to melee attacks. And let's talk to Uskaloosa, shall we? She's frowning at the safe. No luck. I can't get the tumblers into the right I Eigenstate. Friggin' Heisenberg. Okay, let's uh 
puzzle? Nah, let's just crack the safe. We get, uh, you press your ear against the door of the safe and twirl the knob until you hear the tumblers click into place. Nice and smooth. The safe opens to reveal a single key inside, which makes the word keys on the outside a real exaggeration. And now that you grab the key, it's just a lie. Complicated looking industrial key. Nice, got the key. Right, that's my bit now and I'm heading back to the car. Good luck. Bye, Escalusa, who did nothing to help us, but it's all good because you had the right attitude, kid. Very cheap, too. That's good. Honestly, I think the keyboard market is like a really expensive hobby, but if you just want one good keyboard, it's not that expensive. Like this one, I think was 75 bucks, maybe a hundred after I got the three sets of keycaps because I really like keycaps that I definitely didn't need to buy with it, but it's all good. Holy jeez, is this a bomb? <laughs> hey, yep, ain't she a beaut? She's big as heck. Oh, don't worry, it's a shape charge. Pretty much all the blast force is going to go straight into that wall. Pretty much. Were you planning on standing right next to it? Can't recommend that in any case. Go ahead and light the fuse whenever you're ready. All right, give me a sec. Well, we don't need to talk to anybody, so let's do it. And run away, or wheel away, in his case. The door was welded shut. What is this place? Jasper seems uncharacteristically nervous. What should we do? I am forced to admit this is as far as my plan goes. I think you might have to figure something out on your own here. Great, thanks. Zini is ready for action. Uh, it's that guy from your dream. He doesn't look like he wants to be interrupted. We're going to interrupt him nevertheless. Who in tarnation are you? You you got about the end of this sentence before I kill you dead and most people are aware as possible, bucko. 129 bare bones, 45 for the switches, 60 for the keycaps. Wow, Cherry MX Browns are expensive. I didn't realize. I mean, I, I assume they would be cheaper than some of the alternatives like Pandas. But, man, 45. Uh, let's see. ERC inspector, sir. What? I ain't got one of those. I mean the Energy Regulatory Commission? We ain't got one of those neither, and if we did, I'd be in charge of it. I'm referring to the actual federal government, sir, not whatever your inexplicable, inexplicable situation is. Bah! Coolidge can go suck a rattlesnake. Be that as it may, sir, I'm here to inspect your huge mad science contraption. Get away from that console, varmint! Commence to inspecting. Give the main console a thorough inspection while muttering a lot of made-up nonsense science words. Uh, 399 for 10, so less than that. Oh, okay, yeah, got it. Got it. Makes sense. Uh, hmm, well, sir, it seems like you got yourself a real problem here. What in the blazes are you talking about? Someone's yanked a bunch of wires and cables out of this thing and also pushed a lot of buttons at random. You what? I cannot confirm or deny that it was me. The machine starts to vibrate intensely and smoke pours out of one of the vents. This is clearly not up to code. Why, you dang fool, sidewinding! The Baron looks about to beat you to death with his cane, but a nearby exhaust fan explodes and the spinning fan blade slices the top off his hat. He therefore chooses to turn and run away instead. Come on, we gotta get out of here, the whole place is going up. The front panel of the machine blows off and what looks like an old farmer's sickle flies out of it and clatters on the floor. You quietly pick it up. Mysticality plus 13 spooky damage and it's cursed. Um, I want to explore a little bit though. A cool replica of an oil pump. Yeah, a model pump jack. That'll go nicely in our, uh, our little place. Am I going to die if I stay in here? I wonder. I wonder if there's any secrets. Okay, it just keeps going. Probably not. Um, let's 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 just leave. How about how about we just leave? It seems like a good idea. Where are we even going? Uh, I guess we head back outside. Hey, why are you asleep? Now he's only guard. Oh, it was the guard. I was like, uh, are you kidding me? Farina standing next to her souped-up limo, beaming with pride, jump at the car. Let's go, Farina! Okay. Well, everybody, that went better than I could have ever expected. Just goes to show you the old crew still has some life in it after all, though clearly I got to hand it to our new member, STF. We couldn't have done it without you, kid. Ah, oh, shucks, it was nothing. Nonsense, you deserve one heck of an award for what you've done today. Fortunately, most of our money is tied up in savings bonds, so you have to settle for my cool shades. We got Jasper's shades. Okay. Plus six spooky armor and an accessory is pretty good. Now it's time for us to get back to our retirement. I got a shuffleboard game in 20 minutes. See you all around. Yola gives you a big hug and everyone leaves with a wave. Bye, let's do it again sometime. Oh, they all took off. Hopefully our to-do list... Uh, oh, good. Thank goodness our quests are not still in the list. That I would have had to restart the whole game. 
We're like, what, 17 episodes in? We would have had to redo all of it. Uh, we are going back to Ocean City. Murray's Antiques. And we got something to uncurse here. So we'll just throw the sickle in the machine. Uncurse the cursed sickle. You submit the wretched and writhing sickle to the machine. Handle, oh, machine. Handle first as is customary and polite. The curve of the blade cups your palm, licks at your skin. You shudder. The shadow cast by this thing is long and it's yawning shade. You feel the span of the universe. This one is different. This is deep magic. There's something about this sickle. What was it used for, perhaps? With your eyes closed, you can almost see it. Long stalks of wheat drifting in the blue moon. The corn folk up in a burned circle, dancing, stripped to the waist. Up. The sickle's up in the air. Oh, you're gonna see it. You're gonna see the mystery. I, that was really confusing. I have no idea what was just going on. Uh, the machine snorts the curse up into its singular domed nostril. It's a good clean sickle now ready for reaping. In the chair, you think you hear chanting and the stomp of dancing feet. The curse of the sickle awaits in the machine and is preparing for something. Guess we'll face it. <laughs> oh, what a haircut. Oh, who are we? Nick? Nice car. Nick was standing by the trunk a second ago. Okay, trunk is locked. Take the keys. Uh, not like Nick to leave these lying in the ignition. Um, take the map. You got it for whatever good it's gonna do you. And we're gonna close the door. We're gonna unlock the trunk. Just a spare tire, no jack, and a copy of the Terminator on tape. We're gonna watch the Terminator. Okay, close the trunk without watching the Terminator. I guess we'll, uh, better not be blood on the seat. Get out of here, that's sick. Okay, okay we'll start the car. Engine's fried. Okay, great. So we can't do anything with this. Nick, you were supposed to stay with the car. We have a map though. The last and only house on the road. Hey, anyone home? Oh, oh hey, look at that guy. Who we're gonna we're gonna where did he go? He was just there. And now he's not. That's pretty spooky if you ask me. Oh hey! It's a scarecrow guy. Do you know what this is? Huh? A certain forge-bound golem smithed this blade for me. I asked him to make a weapon that could kill even you. Am I famously hard to kill? I can find you now wherever you go, ASDF, and I will cut you a thousand times until you are dead. Uh... That, uh my name's Ashley, actually. I don't want to tell you what my name is. My name's, uh, never mind. Die now. When you wake, you'll see me again. That's rude. That is so rude. Oh, we're in a different curse now. Uh, okay, yes. Do you know how to kill a scarecrow? Okay. You're having some trouble with our language, I see. Oh, hello. AG and Grimhild have but one tongue between them. Two if you count their fists. But I like to make sure I'm understood by all I meet with words, not axes. There's a scarecrow trying to kill me. I do not pretend to have an answer for everything that happens in the world, my friend. Some things, I believe, happen for a reason. Not being murdered, though. Ah, but is it murder or self-defense? Wait, what do you know? Oh, not so much. As I said, I don't pretend to have an answer for everything. Okay. Okay, you can't talk to her. Can we talk to the chicken? What's up, chicken? Nope, can't talk to the chicken. Um. Okay, we're dead again. Nice, 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 nice. What is this? Nothing that way for miles. Are we just going to wait for this guy to kill us a whole bunch of times until we end up in the right one? Okay, can't do anything there. Okay, can't do anything there. There's the scarecrow again. Now there's got to be a way to solve this, right? I'm out. Space taunt scarecrow. This guy's new. Um, a numbers man, team accountant. Can you help me with a scarecrow that's been trying to kill me? Uh, over my head. Okay, that's not helpful. Yeah, we got a baseball bat. Okay, yes, coach. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's go. Go win. I can't move. This is scripted. I can't. Okay. Ninja scarecrow came from above. We are still in the machine. Pretty sure. It looks like we're still in the machine. Can you help me? Yeah, baby, yeah. Oh, behave. 
Okay. I don't know what's happening right now. What is that guy's problem? Okay, we talked to this guy. Ave, barbarian. Ave, from what tribe do you hail? Uh, dad's folks are Irish. Alpha Omicron Pi, what brings you to these parts? Getting chased by a killer scarecrow. Yes, this is a wild part of the world indeed, but do not fear, civilization is coming. And that'll get rid of the scarecrow. It will certainly civilize him. Anything civilization can do for me now? With respect to the scarecrow issue? No, I'd recommend simply waiting. It's better if colonization is done as holistically as possible and not in an ad hoc or piecemeal fashion. That was not helpful at all. So when we taunt the scarecrow, he kills us. So we just have to not do that. Hi, can I help? Can you help me with something? Naturally. Welcome, patron, for this establishment is indeed an antique store, and I, its proprietress. Being such, I can assure you that the, assure thee the establishment and its personnel are put to no other purpose than the safe and legal trade of antique goods. Never mind. There's a scarecrow trying to kill me. A scarecrow. Why, that would make an unwholesome assailant and a vexing predicament, but how can I be of any assistance, being as I am an antique store proprietress and not a farmer or agriculturalist? Okay, never mind. Apologies, apologies. How else may I be of subject to thee this fine afternoon? Oh, the dinosaur. Oh, oh, time guy. Maybe he can help me. No, Scarecrow's coming. Uh, I think I took a wrong turn here. Quite the contrary, you and I were always fated to meet. Seriously, why? Time does not ask why. It only moves in a single direction to a single destination, and that is this place. Okay. Uh, do you know why we have met? I hope it's about my scarecrow issue. It's not your scarecrow issue. You are pursued by a creature whose blade carves the flesh of reality itself. We must decide how you are to kill it. How am I supposed to do that? The sickle is a powerful blade, but I ask you, what is the one weapon that cannot be bested? Time. Quite so, and I would have also have accepted entropy. The sickle was a powerful blade for its time. Time. Like all tools, it was made obsolete in successive generations. While the Scarecrow wields that sickle, he can only be defeated with a more advanced equivalent. Do you follow? Basically, what tool replaced the sickle? Uh, the lawnmower. Precisely so. You must build a lawnmower. How do I... Okay, sickle guy. And he stabbed me with a giant wooden post. Great, we need to build a lawnmower. Any idea where I can get a lawnmower? A lawnmower. No, I regret I'm unfamiliar with this man. How about a thing that cuts grass? A thing to cut grass. No, I regret I'm unfamiliar with this man. You are useless. What about this guy? Do you, you don't know what a lawnmower is, do you? Fair lady, forgive me, but I cannot answer the question. The first rule of warfare is that must never admit to anything. Okay, it's not entirely helpful. So... Guess we'll taunt the Scarecrow. Beautiful. Get stabbed. Again. Okay, we need a lawnmower. Uh, I don't know who Randy is. You're pointless. Goodbye. Call 911. I'm sorry, the number you dialed is not presently in operation. What numbers can I dial? I'm sorry, no numbers are presently in operation. Who are you? Put the phone in my pocket. I pocketed the phone. Amazing. What if Gabby can help us? Well, howdy there, stranger. Welcome to the store. Though I reckon it ain't much here to interest a nice young guy like yourself. See, we only sell dusty books of sorts here. Ain't nothing more exciting than that going on here. No, ma'am. Ain't. We ain't doing nothing with curses and Murray. Ain't. Nope. This is totally a legit antique store. Nothing weird is happening here. Nope. No, siree, Bob. Are you looking for antiques? Uh, can you help me build a lawnmower? Heck, ain't much for building things, partner. Now, if you need a thing lassoed or rustled... I uh, got it. Okay, thanks. Hey, we found a bug. Ashley disappeared. All right, Haas. Can you help me with a scarecrow that wants to kill me? Well, now that's a tough one, sure enough. Can't rightly say and uh, know what to do about that, ma'am. See, you gotta understand, us cowboys, we're a dying breed. We only know one way, and that's the way of the West. All these new technologies and sciences that are coming in, well, I reckon the world's fixing to put the old cowboy out to pasture. You think a scarecrow is new technology? Ain't much for numbers and years, ma'am. Guns, trains, horses, and beans, that's all I know. By the way, West is north now. Say that again? What's what now? They changed West to North decades ago. Oh, jeez, ma'am, why you have to go and say a thing? A thing like that. Are you okay? There really, really ain't no place for the old cowboy no more, huh? Uh, 
Guess not. Oh no, she disappeared. Oh, Gabby, no. Oh, well now we just have to, okay, yeah. All right, that's fine. Yep, good stuff. Oh, we're on the train. Uh, some kid, please is not a good time. Couldn't help hearing muttering vaguely about wheels. Ah, that information is commercially sensitive. You must forget you heard it at once. All I said was wheels. Shh, shh. All right, all right. Could you help me make a lawnmower? You mistake me for a mechanic, madam. I am an automotive executive. Oh, it is true. There was a time when we w you would have found me in the garage, greased up and elbow deep in the guts of a jalopy, like my father on the farm when he helped the cows to give birth. I don't want to know about that. Okay, okay. But lawnmower, can you help me or not? Hmm, no, my company doesn't make those. Bye. Where can I find a lawnmower? Passenger trains have not been equipped with onboard lawnmowers for years. Far too enticing for bandits. I must ask, what do you mean to do with a lawnmower? Uh, this is a robbery, baby. A train robbery. Okay, no, it's, it's not. Uh, at the 11th hour, a new suspect enters the picture. Where were you, madam, at the time of the professor's murder? I got no idea. Probably being chased by a scarecrow with a sickle. As an alibi, most preposterous. I must insist that you remain in this train car until the case is solved. I go where I want. Okay, this kid's supposed to be real smart, right? Can you make me a lawnmower? No. No? Okay. I can make anything with wheels. So, yes? Oh, sure. Will you make me a lawnmower? I'd love to, miss. Wheel and axle machines are my bag, but I got a problem. See that detective finger in his mustache at the end of the car? Uh, yes. That washed up gumshoe's got in his head that I did something I didn't even do. A murder? Can you believe it? Murder's not my bag, miss. My bag is a wheel and axle machine, as I already told you. It's pretty unlikely that someone's would have had both a wheel and axle machines and murder in one bag, wouldn't you agree? Get to the point. I'd love to make you a lawnmower, but I can't do anything while that man over there is investigating me for murder. Please, miss, return to your seat. There's no reason to be concerned here. All will be well as soon as our great detective realizes the power he has. His great powers of deduction and observation and uses them. When will that be? Soon, soon. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I've been stabbed in the head. That's, that's brilliant. Okay. Now where I can get a lawnmower? There's been a, mo a murder. Uh, maybe a tree can... Nope. We're just gonna die. Brilliant. We haven't seen the fish yet. This is exhausting. Thanks, I'm really inspired. Best of luck with your career. Okay. Um, I guess we just taunt the scarecrow. Oh, right in the face. Right in the face. Strange hat, strange guy. Talk to her. Go in here. Time's going backwards. Oh, from off screen. Brilliant. Okay, now we got this guy. Um, I'll see what I can do. Please return to your seat. This will be over soon. I can't return to my seat that way, though. And I'm not entirely sure what to do about this. I'm just going to taunt the scarecrow. I don't think there's anything to do in here, although we're just kind of stuck now between all this stuff. And this goes to this room too. Back in the cornfield. Okay. Break the door. Oh, we have the baseball bat now. There's a giant crow in here. This is my hiding place. Is he scared of the scarecrow? Find your own. You fool! Okay, well that was new. Am I gonna die if I walk over here? I'm not dead. Uh, Maybe we ask him to make a lawnmower? No, we've already done that dialogue. How, so, how's this uh, case going? Oh, here we go. Slowly but surely, I'm pulling up the string that will lead me through this labyrinth of lies to the murdering Minotaur at the center. What the murderer does not realize is that with this string, I'm making for him or her a noose. So good, there is nothing good about murder, madam. Uh, something tells me the boy didn't do it. No doubt the young man himself, who will protest his innocence to anybody with ears, and even those without, but I suspect he knows more than he lets on. Why? Because, my dear, everyone knows more than they let on. 
Uh, maybe this wasn't even a murder. What do you suggest? Natural causes? An accident? Or an act of God? Yeah, like, any of those. Whichever one you think. I think this is just what one of the passengers would like us to believe. The question is, which one? None. I think none. You look tired. You want a break? Be sensible, madam. The common criminal longs and lusts for what they call the distracted detective. The critical moment in which I allow my guard to slip. It must never happen. It cannot happen. Boring. This case is boring. Some respect for the dead, please. But I admit this is a routine case. It certainly does not tax the gray cells as thoroughly as certain past adventures, such as last year's locked room mystery, in which a locked room was murdered. A locked room was murdered? I guess if you unlock a room, you kill what was the locked room. How's that hashtag deep? Uh, but there is nothing a murderer should fear more than a bored detective. For as certainly as the sun sets in the morn, so shall he bring all truths to light. This is just glass onion, but like inside of Shadows Over Loathing. I reckon there's more interesting murders you could solve. Assuredly so, but one that could happen here, now, in this train car, an unlikely, an unlikely prospect, I think. Please, you have bothered me enough. Allow me to conclude this investigation, and then perhaps I shall turn my mind to your more interesting murders. Um, we could, so what if we get murdered in front of him? Then he'll have seen a more interesting murder and turn his attention to it. Okay, this, we have nothing to do here now. And we've seen the crow in the cornfield. Uh, maybe we can talk to this guy again? No. I mean, there's a crow behind him. Travel lightly. And that guy doesn't help us. Okay. Time to go meet Dork. We've seen this one before. What if we go out? Everything leads to here. Off screen! Off screen kills. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe the crow... Maybe we should have gone and checked on the crow. I'm just cycling these as soon as they pop up now. Okay, so... He looks serious. This guy... But that's not possible! I saw you die! Yeah, weird, huh? How can this happen? How can a person die and then return to life? I am pursued by a creature whose blade carves the flesh of reality itself. I can make no sense of it. No, I must insist that you explain yourself. What is it, some sort of deception, a mystical illusion? I must know, I must. I swear I will not rest until I have the truth. Uh, it's all about my pay grade. When is a murder not a murder? Hmm. Okay, kid. Uh, well, I think that detective... I don't think that detective will be bothering you for a little while anyway. Great stuff, really great stuff. That'll give me plenty of time to make my escape. Uh, from... A wrongful conviction. Hmm. Now let's talk about your lawnmower. Yes, please. I can make you one, but I'll need the parts. Luckily for you, a lawnmower is pretty simple. Just need two blades, two wheels, a good sturdy handle, and some sort of metal rod or tube to serve as a roller. Uh huh. So I go and get all the components of a lawnmower, and you do what exactly? Uh, what do I do? From a few inert objects, I give the lawnmower its get up and go. That's pretty important, wouldn't you agree? Would this work as a handle? No, that's a baseball bat. Yeah, I know that, pal. I'm improvising. Wood's a fine idea. That'd work well. But the bat's just not long enough to make a handle. What do I need? Okay. Two wheels, two blades, sturdy handle, and a long metal roller. Um, be right back with the parts. Okay, two wheels. We can get that from the car. And maybe... Quick weird question for you. You got any branches long enough to be a handle for a lawnmower? And if yes, then can I have one? I will it not. It cannot be done. Tis a great sin to share the wood. Yeah, I've heard that before. Tis a perversion. Uh, what if we just go... All wind blows in the wood for little guys. Do you mean me? I'm 19 years old. And if thou were felled, we might count thy rings. But this is not a threat, I assure you. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand any of that. What if we just pull a branch off of this dead guy? No? No, he's got no branches. Okay. Hey, weird question. Mist and wonder are thick in the wood, and questions trouble me not. Are any of your branches long enough to be a handle for a lawnmower? And if they are, can I have one of your branches? I guess that's two weird questions. Naturally, I have no branches, girl. All that grows belongs to the wood. Totally. So, is it okay with the wood if I have one of its branches? Uh, branches? Questions may not trouble me, but Cutter does. 
dude with the axe. I cannot give any of my myself to any guards whilst in the wood cutter lurkins. Okay. Uh, that's what all the boys say. Be right back. Thou wishing for a branch of wood and my terms are clear. Yeah, okay. You want the axemen to beat it. Not to beat. To be gone. Okay. Well, there's the scarecrow. Great. Maybe we have the scarecrow cut us by the other one. Can this be a rod? Can, can I take this apart? No? Okay, there's nothing to do here. We can't get past that guy with the weird hat in that one. And in this one, I don't know. Okay, I think we'll just get killed in front of that guy again, just for fun. Uh, wait, did he say a crow took his branches? Oh, maybe a crow. Play chess. Strange hat, strange guy. Oh, I did not mean, oh, we probably could have taken this one of those as a metal rod. But yeah, if we end up in the cornfield again, we'll go check if there's a crow here. Start the car, close the door. There's a spare tire, right? Take the wheel. We got a rubber wheel. And we'll take the tape. We got a videotape. Okay, there's nothing left in there now. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I didn't push space. He just showed up and killed me anyways, so... Do we need to deconstruct anything in here? Dinosaur, maybe. He has no idea what's going on. Leave her alone. We'll just get killed. Oh, I was going to check the clock. Okay. We have a wheel and a tape. We need this axe, right? Sick axe. Can I have it? Hey, you think I could get that other guy's axe? An unexpected request. Why? For what purpose? Um, Chopping wood. There are many ways to chop wood without the loan of my kinsman's axe. Beavers, for instance, can fell a whole tree with their teeth. I ain't a beaver. Well, give it a try anyway. He tilts his head back to the sky and closes his eyes and rest. Guess he's done with you. Psst, you. You. Edgy knows more than you think. Who's Edgy? I am Edgy. Speak your tongue. Good for you. I hear your talk with old man. I give you axe if you help Edgy. Yeah, sure. Ag it's probably Aggie. Aggie needs... Axe to fight Empire. If Aggie have better weapon than Empire, he no need axe, understand? Yeah, that's the same thing I'm doing with my Scarecrow. Uh, I'm gonna beat him by getting my hands on a lawnmower to beat his sickle. You just need some advanced technology, right? Slow down. Aggie does not understand all words, but advanced technology, this you get, those are the words you understand? Advanced weapon, advanced technology for weapon, weapon for Aggie. You give, I, you get, I give axe. Uh, this is pretty advanced. For you, no offense. What's this? Uh, it's a telephonic communication device. Hmm, very advanced. Had you kill Empire with this? Uh, maybe. You know what? He took down the whole Empire with that. Very advanced, good. You have axe. Had you have no need. Try not to alter the timeline too much. Okay, now we can get past him. We can take the pole. Hey, we got a standard pole. Good job. Good job, Aggie. A Aggie, whatever your name is. You're going to help us take down this scarecrow. Okay, we're back in the cornfield. I'm going to just run all the way to the house. Talk to the crow. The crow is dead. He's very, very dead. I feel kind of bad because we killed the other giant crow. And now we've killed the crow's giant friend. Oh, we can't taunt the Scarecrow from in here. I guess when it's our hiding spot. Okay, what do we need from here? Is there anything? Is there anything from here? Oh yeah, I was gonna see if we can take the hand off of this. If we like wait for it to go down to the, the sixth position. Oh, I just realized we're looking out from the inside of a clock because the Roman numerals are all backwards. Okay, no, it doesn't. He just showed up, so. That guy's still dead. He is still dead. We are going to be dead. We need to get back to the train. The train. The train. There we go. Lawnmower man. Okay, this looks pretty sharp to me very much, so I must admit you're making far more of a success than I'd imagined. You aren't humoring me, are you? You can make me a lawnmower. 
Wouldn't say so if I couldn't. I'm not a car dunce, contrary to what you might have heard. I don't really know what you're talking about. Take good care of this now. That's a promise. Nothing dearer to me in this world than wheels and the machines that use them. Nothing dearer. No girlfriend, boyfriend. Ha! Of course I love my mother, but romance? No, ma'am. I'm married to my work. If you're married to your work, you don't work a day in your life. Ah, I don't think that's exactly what the saying says. Does this roll... Does this roll enough for you? Does it roll enough for you is the question? A vehicle's like a steak, miss. No right way to make it. Just gotta be made the way you want. Aren't steaks supposed to be best cooked rare? Yuck, too wet. Ew. Is this piece going to make my lawnmower too wet? No, 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 just right. Okay, what do I need? Uh, one wheel, one blade, and a sturdy handle. We need a wheel, a blade. Oh, a wheel. This guy might have a wheel. Um, let's cut to the chase, huh? I need wheels, and you're a wheel guy. It is true, I am, as they say in my country, a wheel guy. Furthermore, it is true that I am carrying on board many suitcases of exotic rubber to make new wheels in my factory, and it's true with my automotive experience, I could probably roll some of that rubber into a little wheel for you, as my mother needed dough, but why would I? Everyone always asks, who is the wheel? They never ask, how is the wheel? Um... Because your life depends on it. Wrong! It is because you help my young friend over there. He is coming to work with me, you know. Together we will do wonderful things with wheels. So you, you'll you need me a wheel, or whatever it is. My friend, I have already done it. Can you make me, like, one more? I cannot. This one wheel has used up all my 19 suitcases of rubber. Wow, that's very wasteful. No, when I sell wheels, it is for a lot of money, so I'm not wasting the rubber. Okay, thanks, pal. Okay, we got a wheel, so now we just need a blade and a handle. I'll be right back. Now, she threw a murder weapon out the window, right? But I suppose... Okay. Blade and a, something long enough to be a handle. Where are we going to find a blade? We got the axe. Okay, this, this is done. We still haven't gotten anything from the shop and maybe there's part of the car no there's still nothing here there's nothing left in the trunk now I don't think there's anything in here there's nothing in here yeah there's nothing in here so we're done with the cornfield um oh here okay thou wishing for a branch of the wood and my terms are clear uh, I'll talk to the axe man. Speckin' to me not, for I know no thing of Mordre. Must be nice. Any idea how I stopped getting murdered by a scarecrow? I do not wish to be troubled by the thoughts of Mordre. I will speckin' on the subject no longer. Come on, you gotta help me out. Thanks so much. Do not tarry in the wood today. Okay, scarecrow's here. Great. Great. You have made it to a stream. What is up, Laura? Welcome. Uh, the usernames on Twitch to the real names on YouTube are um, a little bit off for me. Because I, I have yet to piece together who is who from YouTube and Twitch. So, we just died. Well, that's, that's a welcome change, I suppose. Okay, we need a blade, and we need... It's the sickle's curse, yay. Yeah, we're almost there. We're kind of, sort of, almost there. We need one more blade, and then we need to figure out how to get a branch and stop the cutter. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like we've done everything here, though. I need to get back to the wood. So, you have never gotten to watch a Twitch stream, first stream here, no need to rack your brain about that far? Oh, awesome, alright. Well then, glad to have you. I'll talk to the axe man. But where is, is he at? Oh, he's right. Sick axe, can I have it? <laughs> Sick axe, bruh. Can I have it? There's no thing unwell in it, it is a hailing blade. Right on, but I ask again, can I have it? Tis only one cutter in the wood, girl, and tis he who is freest of sin. <laughs> A new viewer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't we think... Uh, I am... 
I give me the axe, dork. He barks a short laugh. Thou wouldst to be a woodcutter, and ye in the wood may be standin', but I be decent thee be careful, Garl. If the wood looks for sin in thee and finds it, there shall be no saving thee. Uh thou shalt not find me wanting, bring it oneth. Uh We both died, which means that we can just go um, pick up the guy's axe, which is the blade, and we can talk to the tree because the cutter is dead. So, yeah, good stuff. And then we'll go back to the train car. Yep. Am I going to get one of those branches now? Ah, tis a sin, guy, but there is no cutter to punish me for it, is there? Uh... I didn't kill him, though. You saw that, right? You ask questions, girl, but I ask none. The tree, the monster, whatever it is, breaks off a whole dang limb. We got a tree branch. Yeah, that ought to work. Now go, and speck not one word of what has happened here today, or there will be a new mordra in the wood. Doesn't bother me, pal. I get mortared every ten to twelve seconds. Yeah. Okay, here's the axe. Now we have everything that we need. Um, new as far as streaming, yeah. Shadow of a Loathing is just fun. I, I hope there's more, a lot more to it. Um, it just seems like the game, like, it doesn't get old. Um, but also it's not so new and out there that it's kind of a, a problem. Like, it's, it's refreshingly familiar. Although this, this crunching sound of our face getting impaled by a sickle is getting a little old. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. There's a bunch more to. Oh, good. Well, that's good. We just, uh, unfortunately, before you got here, um, we had to give up on some of those side quests in Gray County because we just couldn't, and we just did the main the main heist. And you look at those lawnmower parts. This is a blade, right? No mistake about it. What is that? A train's fire axe? More of a purifying blade carried by a woodsman against sinners. Right. That was my next guess. Is this a good handle? Is it? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. I'm being rhetorical. Yes, that'll make a fine handle, all right. Just need to chop it up and put it back together in the right shape. Uh, if the branches start screaming, don't worry about it. Never do. I've got good news for you. Is it about my lawnmower? You mean this lawnmower? Oh, I didn't think it was going to be a manual one. Well, that was fast of you, but I guess we didn't give him an engine or a motor, so yeah. It's a simple machine, miss. Shouldn't take anyone more than a few seconds to build a lawnmower. Only there's a problem. Of course there is. I hate cynicism, miss. That's the problem with our generation. Excuse me? It's the darndest thing. All the pieces are there. It should work. But it's like, if I didn't know better, miss, I'd say the machine doesn't want to run. How is that possible? Can't say, miss. I'm a humble engineer. I can build the things, but this is getting into questions of whether machines have souls. I don't know how to get a machine to believe in itself. I don't know who could do a thing for that thing like that. Good endings, bad endings, endings from level up in, leveling up your companions, etc. Oh boy, that's a lot of endings. Uh, thanks for some things. Great. Now we need to convince this machine to work. Any idea how to make a lawnmower work when it doesn't want to? Is your lawnmower in a union? Ha 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 ha. Uh, but for real though, ha, 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 ha. okay, good union joke, buddy boy. Don't leave the train. It's probably we need to talk to Jessica because there wasn't anything else from that area that helped us yet. And I was wondering why it kept taking us back. I probably should have gone and tried to talk to these guys, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Jessica. So we'll just skip to it. We'll hop two, as they say. Oh, goodness. The off-screen sickle clobber. All right, I'll go talk to these guys. I have a lawnmower that doesn't work. Can you help with that? Doesn't work? No such thing. Won't work. Maybe it's just like the rest of these boys. Maybe it's tired. Maybe it had a hard day. Maybe it'd like to go back to bed. Well, I'm not standing here in the pouring rain so I can go to bed. I came out here to win a dang baseball game. Give that thing here. The coach rips the mower out of your hand and screams into the blades. You're wet! You're tired! I can't help you with that! We can't control that! We can only control one dang thing in our lives, you understand? One dang thing! So you tell me, yes or no, are you a baseball player? <laughs> yes, coach! Oh my gosh, now you get out there and you play! <laughs> okay, our lawnmower is now a baseball player. This is the last dang time. Oh, whip out that thing and 
beat him like a baseball bat. Hey, it's over for you now, you goon. I went and made myself a lawnmower that beats your sickle. You speak of sticks and stones. Tools only. There will always be shadow ASDF gaming, and thus you will never be safe from me. My name is Ashley Dingus. <laughs> also, where's Nick? That's... It's Nick? Nick? What the heck? It's nothing personal, Ash. Uh, seems plenty personal. It ain't you. It's this guy I gotta kill. ASDF. Why? Don't have a choice. It's something that goes way back. Got a debt to the shadow. Uh... Turn on the light and your shadow goes away. Ain't that easy. Shadow's bigger than anything you and I can comprehend. You, you can't just get rid of it. That's right, huh? Whammo! Ooh. Ooh. Sheesh. Oh, yeah, there is a Discord. Oh, you know what? I didn't set up the commands for it yet. I, I really went back to the start. I was like, we're just going to keep it simple. I'm going to, I mean, I have the cat cam still, but yeah. Lawn mower deals mysticality plus six and causes bleeding. Great. A long, confusing, after a long, confusing vision with several words and concepts you did not understand, you leave the machine a little less sure in yourself and the world. Sure in yourself, not of yourself, but please nonetheless that the sickle's curse has been destroyed. Package gave for you while you were in there, SDF. We got a lawnmower. That, uh, is there a return address? It just says, I'll see you in 66 years. Hmm, never heard of it. Maybe it's in Utah. Oh, the, the uncursing machine is smoking. It's probably not good, but, um, okay. You put the model oil bump on your shelf. It continues to belch out nasty black smoke. It's probably fine. Yeah. Consider the orb. Orb gazer. Very good. Consider the orb again. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess that's it. Okay. So there was a package for us. Right? That they put somewhere in my room. Somewhere. I guess I'll arm wrestle myself. Um, let me see if I can grab a link to the Discord, actually. Um, well, I put it in most of the descriptions in the videos. But, uh, yeah, it'd be awesome to have you over there. It's it's still small. We're, we're growing it slowly and steadily, and there's altogether too many channels. There's one tricky one you have to have nine mysticality for in Ocean City. That's a fun ending. And uh, another one, if you get if you do a bunch of precise stuff at SIT, loading games are so much fun. I, I love how like open-ended they are. I think we do have nine mysticality. Yeah, our stats are decent. That's why I was kind of wondering how much more there was, because like we have a lot of effects and stats and all that. Um, let's see. I forgot if we have any alcohol to deliver at the speakeasy and let's just see we do not okay well we'll leave so let's go to sleep i think i forgot where she said she left the package i found the sickle it was a uh, well there were some bad implications about the whole situation with the shadow monsters and the government not that they weren't already but this is turning out to be a pretty big bite to chew Hmm, that's disquieting, but if it fits with the readings we've been getting from the Detectatron, what kind of readings? Go get some sleep and I'll tell you about it in the morning. I want to look some stuff up first. Get some sleep, she says. Here's a big old cliffhanger, she says. <laughs> uh, time to pick a tenant from for the last vacant storefront. Of course. First applicant is advanced pants. It doesn't say what they plan on selling, but I have to assume it's pants. There's a pants that we haven't seen yet. I'd like small, small, let's talk with people. Small is cool. Yeah. Well, we got a small channel on YouTube now, and we got a small Discord too. There's still, I mean, there's too many threads, <laughs> but it's okay. It lets people uh, kind of do whatever they want to. So yeah, the second is truncheons and bludgeons. This fellow's really excited. Well, we don't need weaponry, especially um, physical weapons and Texas instruments selling musical instruments. Yeah. And that's probably for the bard one. So let's go with the pants store. And then we'll go to sleep. I do... Let's finish the dream. I do want to go check out the pants store. Just to see if there's pants that increase our spell damage. Because we haven't seen those yet. It's a good thing your bed isn't like this in the waking world. But you can give your bed a big ol' hug and then go to sleep. That sounds awesome. Uh, your grade school lunch gentleman is levitating behind the counter. Well, we're levitating in front of the counter. So he just stares at you like he did in real life. So what... It's chopped vampire kidneys! It's diced skeleton kidneys! Oh no, it's seared bat ears! Okay, it's it's toasted vampire guts. That that okay, everything in this dream is extremely surprising. 
There's the the ghost lady, a clock whose time is running out. The symbolism here is anyone's guess. Another surprise! It's it's Noel with Grimbo. Uh, a, a deeper surprise. Dream you must be more scared of chickens than real life you. Oh, the beholder. Yep, great. These are all. Oh, you. Uh, me. Get the heck out of here. I'm busy. Where'd you get stuck in Grey County if it was the Mulross house? I bet it was the Mulross house. It was the Mulross house and it was, um, the Drexel stead. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the Mulross house. So, um, get the heck out of here. I'm busy. Wait, are you the real you talking to me in my dream or am I making up a dream version of you? I don't have time for this vaudeville act. Scram. Sheesh, what a grouch. She's done talking. One more surprise? No? Okay. Uh, doorway back to the horrors of the waking world. Better those than these. Okay, my room. Let's uh, do all the things. Yep, do... Oh, not that. Let's do these things. Consider the orb. Beat up the fridge. Hang out with the bird. Watch TV. Arm wrestle this guy. Actually, what are my stats right now? I should get... Oh, muscle's fine. Uh, yeah, muscle's fine. Fairy fisticuffs, plus three to melee weapon attacks. It doesn't help us, but it doesn't hurt us. So, so I got a lurk leaving the stream. Hey, I appreciate you, Lady Thunder, dude. We got a letter opener! Let's go! We can open all of the mail now! Uh, as you leave your room, you notice a letter opener stabbed into the door, pending a sheet of paper to it. Hey, Jessica, what's this document knifed to my door. I didn't look. Figured it wasn't any of my business. You didn't see anybody come into this room and try to murder my bedroom door with a letter opener? I was busy. A wizarding license renewal form. Dear ASDF Gaming, we are unable to find any record of your wizarding license on file with the Municipal Records Office. Please use the enclosed form to update or renew your license accordingly at your earliest convenience. Monetary fines and or magical curses may be levied against you as a penalty if this matter is not resolved. I'm supposed to have a license for magical spells? Well, yeah, can you imagine the chaos otherwise? How did you not know that? I became a wizard in a dream, and none of the dream people explained the regulatory structure to me. You'd better get it taken care of before they turn you into a trash bin for community service. Take care of it where? The DMV. It's in Government Valley. Where's that? Down the coast a ways. It was the nexus of all things red tape related before things started getting weird. People don't go there much anymore unless they absolutely have to, like you do. Yeah, to fix this bureaucratic nonsense, it's almost certainly a trap. Definitely a trap, but you have to go anyway. And isn't that and that isn't the only reason why. Uh spent hours trying to do the Moros house before you figured it out the first time. And you couldn't remember what you did the second time. It took another hour. Gotta go leaving the stream out. I uh, appreciate you too, Laura. Thanks for coming by. We're gonna be ending it soon. I just wanna check out the pants store and then we'll call the stream. You found another artifact, huh? Kind of. What do you mean kind of? What do you mean? Kind of. Well, it wasn't there yesterday, and it's too, I don't know, big, powerful, strange to just be a regular artifact. It pegged on the dot it pegged the dial on the detectatron. Oh boy. Oh jeez. Yeah. Well, how do I get there? Hang on, I got a map here somewhere. Wait, a what? A map. Is it a real map or just another one of those vast array of non-map things you keep referring to as maps? She glares at you and shoves an honest-to-goodness, according-to-Hoyle map into your hands. Wow. Jessica, this is a real breakthrough for you. Hmm. Okay. No messages because we finished the dawn quest. Let's pet Calliope. Get the boon. Which, one physical armor we don't really need. Let's go get a drink on. Back at you, baby. What's new? Okay, we want one Mysticality and one Moxie. And then we want... Let's just do Sleaze Armor. Yeah. And then we'll double the Mixer effect. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we have so much Sleaze Armor right now. Yeah, seven Sleaze Armor. Okay, and then we will drink... Uh, we'll drink a food and eat a potion. Okay, increase the- sure, that looks good. Alright, we'll do that. We'll do a potion. Um, three poison, muscle, gator punch, SIT, robot fuel. Yeah, why not? Alright. I didn't mean to go that way. I meant to go the other way. Although the pants store might be on this side. It's right here. Beautiful. Okay. 
Hi, I'm ACF. Hi, I'm Nancy. If you're in the market for pants, you've come to the right place. A market for pants. <laughs> nice. What's for sale? Okay, athletic shorts. If you wear these, you'll find the athleticism was in you all along, specifically in the groin and butt part of you. Well, black leather pants. Great. Durable, stylish, and comfortable, except for the comfortable. Hey, Tatiana, welcome. First stream on YouTube. Come on in. Actually, we're just wrapping up soon. I'm just buying out the entire pants store because we finally got the pants. Six sleeves armor. Beautiful. A flowing skirt. The swishy skirt frees up your feet for fancy work, although I levitate. So these roomy pants provide maximal freedom of movement. Nice. These are chaps like the gunfighters up north used to wear. Great. A pair of pants made of durable canvas. Just don't let Salvador Dali paint one of those weird giraffes on your leg. Great. A skirt made of durable canvas. Just don't like that. Uh, uh, Magrit clown, clown, Magrit clown, paint a pipe on it by those two for cold armor. We don't need that. We read up on cold armor. These second hand pants are worn from a lifetime of use in a coal mine. Difficult to imagine a cooler pant. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, have a chat. So why a pants store in particular? My grandmother was arrested a couple times in the 80s, and, in the 1850s and 60s for wearing pants in public. Since then, our family's been big advocates for women's pants and equity in clothing generally. Wow, that's a deeper answer than I was expecting. How's it working out for you? Uh, much better nowadays. We don't have 100% pants acceptance yet, but we're getting there. So forgot that you have your real name on YouTube. Oh, what's up, Doc? Awesome. Uh, yeah, wait, which... um. Oh, you just changed it over. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Nice. I was like, wait a minute. Two new people at the same time with the same icon. <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, yeah, I've been experimenting with a line of men's skirts, but that's proven to be a tougher sell. Men are more stubborn about their clothes, I guess. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we don't need to buy or sell any more pants. So yeah, and that takes us to the end of our stream today. I'm still working out some uh, bugs and glitches and we're still keeping things really simple at the beginning. We don't even have any custom commands set up, but that does it for our first stream over here on YouTube. So please like and subscribe if you're watching the VOD. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't even have a button to end the stream. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I'll, I'll, I'll go to the, I got to click a button. What, e what even is happening? <laughs> Here we go. Dope Grizzly Bear, welcome in. We are just ending the stream. That's how it goes. I know you just got here. We'll be streaming tomorrow at 3 p.m. though, Pacific Standard Time. So hopefully you can come in then and, uh, and we'll see you then. But uh, do got to end it here. So talk to you later.